In the next few videos, we're going to go over the digestive system. This video is going to discuss the functions and the structure of the digestive system. The general purpose of the digestive system is to break down food particles for absorption. This includes mechanical processes that will mix and reduce the size of ingested food. This also includes chemical processes where accessory organs secrete compounds and enzymes that will break down the food into absorbable molecules. This also includes the absorption process where these food particles are absorbed as nutrients, but we also absorb electrolytes and water. All of these are absorbed from the intestinal lumen into the bloodstream. Let's now take a look at the structure of the digestive system. In this diagram, you can see that there are two main components to the digestive system. The alimentary canal, or the GI tract, as well as the accessory organs. The gastrointestinal tract is essentially a tube that carries food through the body for digestion and absorption. The accessory organs secrete compounds that aid in the digestion of the food particles. The GI tract starts with the mouth and progresses to the esophagus, stomach, small intestines, large intestines, and ends with the anus. In subsequent videos, we're going to go through each of these structures in more detail to discuss what their specific rules are in digestion. The accessory organs include the salivary glands, which produce saliva, the liver, which has multiple functions, including the production of bile, detoxification, glycogen storage, and gluconeogenesis. We also have the pancreas, which has both endocrine and exocrine roles. So the endocrine roles are to produce the hormones, insulin and glucon, glucagon, to regulate blood glucose concentrations. And the exocrine role is to release digestive juices, which includes enzymes to break down molecules into absorbable ones. And the last is the gallbladder. The gallbladder functions to store and release bile during digestion.